This is Alexander Richter from Bad Homburg, Germany, who's about to attach himself to a train using a special suction cup designed to transport glass on the outside of trains. The last thing I expected him to do was to attach himself to the back of the train. Ladies and gentlemen, this is train surfing. It's insanely dangerous, and it's your number five choice. These are high-speed trains. This is really dangerous. If this guy falls off, it could be night-night. Fortunately, Alex lived to tell the tale. So we traveled to Germany to ask him what inspired the idea. I have talked with a lot of people about it, and every one of them was saying, uh, that's impossible, you can't do it. The modern trains are not built to surf. I had the idea with that suction pad, which is designed to transport glass. Yes, these aren't special German train surfing suction cups. So how are they keeping Alex from falling off a train capable of 205 mile an hour speeds? They're just big suckers, really. And what they do, they, they suck over the top and then he pumps, first of all. And that pumping that he's doing is removing the air from inside this sucker, which creates a vacuum. When he sucks the vacuum, there's much less air pressure out. So now you have all of the weight of the atmosphere pushing down on this disc. And so you think that it's the atmosphere that's going to pull him off because of the wind resistance. But what really is happening is that it's the atmosphere that's holding him on. The handle itself needs to overcome a couple forces. One, the weight of his body, and two, the force that the train produces when it accelerates forward. Provided the air pressure, the weight of the air on that suction pad is more than he is, he's gonna be okay, assuming the suction pad stays good. Alexander's train surfing video made a giant splash on the internet, clocking over six million views. But how close to disaster did he come? Like any other extreme sport, a small probability that you die is always there, but it's worth it. 